Police vastly outnumbered protesters around the U.S. Capitol on Saturday at a sparsely attended rally by supporters of people who breached the building on January 6th, trying to overturn former President Donald Trump's election defeat. About one to 200 protesters showed up for the Justice for J6 rally, far fewer than the 700 organizers had expected and the thousands who brought mayhem to the Capitol on January 6th. As part of an effort by some of Trump's far-right supporters to rewrite the history of January's deadly mob assault, speaker after speaker on Saturday insisted that hundreds of rioters arrested that day were, quote, political prisoners. So we condemn violence, political violence in all of its forms. We don't want any today, and we condemn the political violence that happened on January 6th. This is about the many people who were there that day who have not been charged with violence, not been accused of assaulting a police officer, destroying property, and disparate treatment they've received. The prosecutors and legal experts say the cases are being handled properly. Hundreds of officers patrolled the Capitol grounds and a black eight-foot-high fence, which surrounded the white-domed building for about six months after the attack, was reinstalled in anticipation of the event. 100 National Guard troops were on standby. More than 600 people have been charged with taking part in January 6th violence, which followed a speech by Trump at a nearby rally reiterating his false claims that his election loss was the result of widespread fraud. Those claims have been rejected by multiple courts, state election officials, and members of Trump's own administration.